I'm out of the new farm that I'm developing and I just wanted to do a quick video talking about trade-offs with rototilling. So many people know that rototilling isn't an ideal scenario for the soil. It has its negative effects on it. There's no doubt about that. But sometimes the question you got to ask yourself is what's the trade-off to not rototilling? So let's say I didn't till this plot. This plot was a previous orchard, an old orchard. The trees were dying. Its time was done. So now it's a field. And as I till through it, I'm hitting huge rocks and huge roots, which would make growing in these beds for this year difficult. You know, when you want to grow long root crops like carrots, or you want to get good potato yields or things like that, which are some of the crops we're growing here, it's detrimental to the growing. So this was pasture grass and there is some invasive grass in it, cat quack grass or cooch grass, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that has to be dealt with too. So uh, one of the negative things with tilling this plot right now is that it's been very dry. So you can see when I'm tilling this, there's dust blowing everywhere. Like there's no question about it. I'm harming the soil in two ways. I'm eroding the soil from that soil blowing away and I'm really disrupting the soil structure. So there's definite harm there. However, the things that I'm getting out of it that are of benefit is, one, I'm really loosening it up so I can get these big roots and rocks out. And two, the dryness right now is actually helping me because this was grass, like this pasture here. And the fact that it's dry right now, as I rototill this after this had been just previously picked through for rocks. We came in, shaped the, bed, the beds uh, manually and then picked through the rocks. And um, now I'm going through and the grass is pretty much completely dried up. So that's good. So that's a huge benefit to getting this plot into production quickly. So I'm willing to accept some damage to the soil, knowing that I'm gonna be amending the soil with a lot of organic matter, compost, manure, uh, organic fertilizers, things that I've talked about in my videos for, for many years. Uh, so I can build the soil back up and then I can, I don't have to worry so much about all this grass in there. So two big benefits. I hope you guys found that helpful. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and share the videos with your friends. And if you want to see more highly detailed content like this, particularly the development of this farm, I'm doing this in real time exclusively at fromthefield.tv. So go check that out and see this whole process happen from breaking ground to building a farm. See you in the next video.